I'm lonely. I'm so lonely. I'm blue, da ba dee da ba die. <laughs> Got a cat with the pack. Got a robot on his back. Going in circles, making me dizzy. And he's always in such a tizzy. Where's it going? I don't know. What's his goal? It's for show. Maybe he'll get out of here, see the outside. Probably not. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Goodness. Never gonna run around or and desert you. Never gonna tell a lie. Cats never, never gonna, gonna say, say goodbye. This was such a simple concept, you know? Just playing a game as a cat. Why is this? This can't be the first game to let you play as a cat. What about Tokyo Jungle? Mm hmm. Have you ever played Tokyo Jungle? I don't think so. You play as animals in that one. Maybe a small dog? I sleep while I listen to this music. It's very relaxing music. Music soothes a wild cat. Mm -hmm. Play me a melody and I won't maul your face off. Yes, I enjoy this. Thank you very much. The cat's actually purring. <laughs> Hello, little one. Do you have any electric caper for me? Yes, I do. I'd love to make you a poncho. Oh, thank you, my dear. I get to work right away. Let me just do this poncho. I was already like 99% done, but you've given me the motivation I need to complete it. Yes. Hooray! It was originally made for my daughter, but I guess you can have it since my daughter is a robot and I don't actually care about her because I have no emotions. Goodness. Here you go. You have a poncho, but you can't put it on? Oh, that's so sad. You have acquired a poncho, but you can't wear it? Lame! Perfect for a cold robot. Hmm. Oh, I thought you could customize your cat. Aww. Oh. Wonder if I can just jump to the window. Oh, but I can, I probably can't jump to the window from here, but. What if there was like a, a trick air conditioning unit? The one that was like poorly bolted in, so you land on that one and it breaks. And then for the rest of the game, you got to limp again. Ooh, maybe. Hello, that would, that would not guy. be fun. Yes. You do, he does look cold. I'm not hey. cold. I'm just shaking because I've had too much caffeine. Yeah, have this lovely poncho. Oh, let me try it on. Thank you for the poncho. Please come see me if you ever need anything fixed. Hell yeah. All right, well, now if we find something that needs to be fixed, we can bring it back to him. And he wouldn't have repaired it unless we had brought him a poncho. Maybe, maybe. maybe because his hands were shaking too much from the cold, right? Yeah. Which doesn't make any sense because how could a robot sense temperature differences like well, that? Well, maybe he's imitate. Maybe they're just imitating people. So we need to go higher. It'd be nice if we had the option to swap over to the robot and then the the cat got in the robot's backpack. How would that even work? I don't know. Maybe a character select screen where you can play as a bird instead. You just want to play banjo kazooie. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Oh, we bought another memory. And by we, I mean you, because I'm not actually playing. I'm just watching you run around the city. Remarkable. Companions have evolved so much. Indeed. Is that what robots are? Companions? In the early days, their simple AI really imitated human art. Now, this is all their own. Humans often said that making art is important in desperate situations. What do humans know? Humans are stupid. Yay. Another memory. All right, we got half the memories in the area. You have no regard for how dangerous these situations are. This cat is just going places. Just going all the places it could possibly go. Dude, cats go everywhere. I guess so. Ooh. Leap bucket. All the way we go, riding the bucket. Look at me go, I'm riding the bucket. Look at me go, I'm riding the bucket. All the way down here, bucket. That was a good cat in a bucket song. Oh, and then the bucket goes back up. Retractable cat buckets. Available now at your nearest Home Depot. I've seen things online where people who live on like on the third or fourth floor, they, uh, oh, oh no, a dead robot. I remember when this guy used to not be dead. That was pretty cool. Looks like he wanted to go to the upper level. Yes, I remember. Midtown is up there, away from all the garbage and sickness of the slums. Even in dire times, humans could not help but divide themselves by social class. Go figure. Back then, a lot of people from the slums were prepared to do anything to move up there. Apparently, robots also copied this behavior. Hooray. Oh, we're getting a lot of memories from this area. A lot of memories. Uh, watch out, there's barbed wire there. Yeah, I can't really jump to that. You can, but it's gonna hurt. Even as a cat, I recognize that that's a bad idea. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I've seen things of people who live on like the third or fourth floor, they, they have set up like a milk crate thing that they lower down and their cat gets into the milk crate and then they <laughs> raise it back up so that, yeah, so that they don't have to go down, down downstairs to let the cat out. I've thought about doing something like that here because I, I don't have a... I guess I do have a, a door that goes to the main floor, but it might just be easier to go to my porch and like rig up a pulley system to drop them down. Yeah, but you don't really want to let cats go out. Cats need I, to stay I was, inside. I was thinking more of like a small dog. Ah, you could also do that. But then they'd just poop in the lawn, and then the homeowners association, the the, uh, the condo association, might get mad at me for leaving dog feces everywhere. Yeah, they might get kind of annoyed with but you. But I guess if the dog's only got to go number one, it's just Ooh. easier to use the pulley system. More sheet music. Hooray! Oh, can I claw on this door? I can. Of course you can. Claw on all the doors, and then urinate on the other ones. Hey, stop. What's that sound? Everybody knows it's probably nothing. Hey, stop. What's that sound? Everybody knows it's going. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that was that a bit was, of a botch. That was quite a hefty jump. It was a botch jump almost. Oh, hey, I can get in that room. Let's get in here. All right. I don't know whose room this is, but I'm they, in it. They got a gramophone. Ooh. Can I can I look at it like that one of the like that one dog thing? Oh, there's not even anything on it though. <laughs> clunk clunk clunk. Is is there any reason to have come in here? Oh, oh, there we go. Again, I forgot that I'm I'm cat sized <laughs> and I can go through things. Mm hmm. What do we have in this small area? This living quarters. It looks like. Oh, somebody was playing video games. Can we play said video games? Oh, Clementine's notebook. Okay. A strange notebook with a symbol on it. Seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Oh, my darling. I wonder if she'll remember this. <laughs> Everything is going according to plan. We managed to contact the upper apartments before the transceiver went down. They're in a place called Midtown, and apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. Goodness. I talked to Momo earlier. His eyes. I know the look. He will not come with us. I don't know what this means, but I'll probably save it for later. It'll be useful, I'm sure. Go see Momo. Who the Guardian told us about. Okay. But do we have to? Can we just kind of, you know, do nothing instead? I'm a cat. You can't tell me what to do. Cat does whatever cat wants. A tiny Maneki Neko. I see that, yes. I have a uh, Maneki Neko that... Ooh! And another sheet? Okay, wow. Hell yeah. I feel like some of them are hidden in obvious positions. We probably... Oh, if I was a cat, I would love to sleep under here. Oh, I bet. Dude, being a cat would be so great. You could, like... It would be so cozy to sleep down there. You could find, like, the linen closet and sleep in there. Have you ever slept under your bed as a human? Uh, no. I no? don't think my bed has ever been big enough that I was able to sleep under it. Oh, okay. So you never brought your blankets and pillow and slept underneath your bed? No, I don't think it's ever been high enough up for me to do that. Hmm, okay. I thought that was the kind of thing that all kids did. No, I mean, I've gone under my bed before. Right. I, like, I remember like building like a little like a little pillow for it that was bed adjacent. How how is okay? So it wasn't under the bed. You didn't build a fort underneath the bed. I mean, like it was. I, there was enough room for me to like climb under my bed, but I didn't want to really spend any length of time down there because it was it was so narrow. Huh. Okay. Interesting. As someone who's claustrophobic, I would think that you would not want to take a nap under your bed. Yeah, you would think so. But as a kid, no, I did that occasionally. Just hmm. took everything and went. Well, I guess maybe my bed was maybe the space was a little bit bigger than yours. I don't know. Maybe. I remember I I had like a walk-in closet and I took a nap in that before. Hmm. All right. Ooh, Ooh, hello. We're in a library. Oh my god, I want a library like this. That's a lot of books. It's so unorganized. Oh! Gonna... Well, okay, that sucks, because the books fell and killed him. <laughs> I want a library like this. One that kills people. How to develop artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as Rhythm in volume 42. It's a lot of volumes. Hey, another another sheet music. My gosh, they're everywhere. I think that might be all of them. Well, it's probably very close to all of them. Might... But still, okay, aside, aside from the dead robot, this is sick. I love this. Mm -hmm. I have a picture from when I went to Montana where I stopped at this tiny little bookstore. And I have a picture of like, it's like a, a row of a bunch of books and it looks super cool. All right. Well, I just knocked over a bunch of, oh! Oh, hey, you found a safe though. Ah, uh, I gotta scan an item. Clementine's notebook is probably the only thing we got that you can use. Now I'm not. No, I gotta scan an item to get in there, huh? Hmm. 
I got nothing. Alright, well, we'll make a note that it's there and maybe come back later. You just scratch Hey, yo! <laughs> Scratching up the couch. Fuck your couch! Buy another one, you rich motherfucker! <laughs> Ooh. Ah, the study area, covered in books, I see. Oh, hello, hello, what's this? Hey, Doc, I found the keys to the safe. You need to be more careful with these. Hey! Hey, it's not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books, just the library. Thanks, we figured that out already. We've already found the safe, now we can use the key on it. This is so cool in here. I love this. I love all these books. A little fort made out of books. Oh! Yeah, let's... I just want to, like, spend the day in here. Not this so much, with all these books. Right, right. You want a, a slightly more organized and li filled with fewer dead robots version of this room. Another Manakin Echo. And a can of nitrous oxide! Hooray! Yep, a strange notebook with the symbols on it. Belonging to Doc. After we weeks of research, I've combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp, and this should be able to... Word off the Zerks on our way out. Mm -hmm. The initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. I don't know what this means, but it'll probably be useful later. We should see that Momo person the Guardian told us about. We Bring should. this canister to them. Do, 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 do. Or don't, just leave do, it there, do, I suppose. Do, 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 do. Well, no, that was just a... That, I can't take the canister. Lame. Yeah. I thought that I thought the floor was particle board for a second. I was gonna start singing particle board. Ah, I remember that song. Particle board, all the furniture I just made of particle board. It's all I can afford that particle board. Particle board, my life sucks and it can't be ignored. Four walls, a door, and a particle board. Ooh, hello. I'm trying to watch TV, are you? Don't look at your TV. Look at me. I'm way more appealing. Ah, oh, what are you? I'm trying to repair my TV, but it's broken. If only I knew somebody who could repair things. Hey, I know someone that can repair things. Meow. I don't think cats make good repairmen, not to be judgmental. It's never going to... Oh, it's Momo. Oh, it's Momo. It's never going to work. <laughs> Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. Uh, what do you want? Uh, Look at this notebook. The research books for my friends. Useless now. Nobody wants to go outside anymore. What can I really do for you? Again, that book is useless as well. Postcard? A picture of the outside. Do you want to go there? Yes. Well, don't bother. It's a waste of time. It'll only bring your loneliness and despair. Aww. My friends had this dream too, but now they're gone and I'm all alone. I don't know where they ended up. I tried to contact them, but that f***ing transceiver doesn't work. Oh my. My friends and I took notes of our research about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go out there. My notebook. You're on your own. I'm done with the outside. Good luck. Aw, oh, seems very sad. He misses his friends. Let me check the notebook he gave us. Outside of Manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from the Zerks. Signed Clementine, Zabaldzar, and Zo Doc and Momo. Momo's name was added later. We should find the other notebooks. Well, we found two of them. We've only listened to one. Maybe one of them's hanging around here. Bag! Oh, of course. A cat in the bag. You found a secret! I did? Yeah. What is it? Well, you could, your, your head's stuck in a bag. Oh, I guess the cat's out of the bag now. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> The symbol on the wall matches the one on the notebook. So is that where the last Oh, that's was? where I was. Okay. We've already visited that place, but we could check if there are other signs like that. Well, oh. uh, well what about... Is, have we checked everything in that room? See, Clementine's notebook is on that oh, one. Oh, okay. So we just gotta find... We just gotta find the other... Oh, faces! Yeah, there, and there's one right over there, which I think we've done that one? I, oh, I see. Oh, yeah, we did that one. Okay, okay. You saw that one over there, the blue one right there, and there's one right and there. And I don't think we've been to that one. So we need to... I think that should be the last one we need to go to, is this one over here. Property damage! <laughs> more! Break more! <laughs> uh. Yes! 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 I haven't seen an animal this destructive since Untitled Goose Game. 
Ah, uh, now you can go down through here. <laughs> hey. Uh, you got a leak. Oh. Uh, I you already know about that. I guess that. they're aware. <laughs> mm. Oops. Ah, knocked over some boxes. Can you drink out of that? Get Thirsty. Yeah, you can drink out of that. It's been a while since I had a tasty drink. Yum, 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 yum. Boy, rainwater. Off that nom, nom, disgusting nom, nom, building. Nom, 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 nom. Delicious. All right, looking for more sheet music. Another journal. Oh, they got another leak. That's not good. Mm. So we're looking for a sheet music, a journal, and maybe one more energy drink if we can find. Oh, bleh. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Wow, they have a washer in their room. Fancy. Fancy. Oh. Hey, you found that Found notebook. it! Nice. Finally, the last notebook. This one seems to belong to someone called Zabalzazar. All trace of organic life has disappeared except for whatever we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at an inconceivable rate, as if being locked in the city wasn't hard enough. Oh! There's also a note in this book. It says, I found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I've figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to get Momo to repair the transceiver. Woo! If it can communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Woo! I mean, uh, now! Let's show what we found! Well, I don't know where the last piece of sheet music is. That's true, but I guess if we found seven out of eight on our first run, without using a guide or anything, we should be pretty feeling pretty confident about that. I mean, it could be anywhere I, in the it, city. On his, it might, it, it might be Wait, somewhere else could, that we haven't been to yet. Is it up on those shelves, actually? Is it up here, maybe? No. Anyway, hey, Momo, guess what? We got a journal for you. Hello, little cat. Are you still looking for those useless known ones? I am. Here you go. That's Malzer's notebook, right? I never quite understood what he was talking about most of the time, but he was very wise. And Clementine's notes. Yeah, she was really brave, you know. Most fearless person I've ever met. You found all my friend's notebooks. Wow. Yes, I did. Wait, what's that note? The transceiver can be repaired? This is incredible! That means we should be able to communicate outside of the slums. Clementine, Zabalazar, Doc, I'm sorry I doubted our cause. I'll promise you, I will find a way to reach the surface. Thank you, we might be able to find you a way up and get you out of here, little cat. Let's fix this piece of junk receiver. Meow. I can tell you're excited by that excited meow, yes. Meow, meow, meow. So this is a rocket pack. I'm gonna strap you on top of it. Yes, yes, yes. Et voila, it works. Come with me. And you'll see in a world of pure cassette recorder. Up there, see that building high above the others? Towering over them, if you'd will? Uh, sure, yeah. If you install the receiver at the very top of that tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. Neat. My friends might still be out there. If there's a way out, They'll know it! You, okay. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky! Okay. Alright, well, I'll see you later, robot guy. Oh, that building! <laughs> Gotta go up there, huh? That building's a long way away, though! We'll have to go a long way away, then. Oh, boy. Alright, well... Are we seriously not gonna get a jetpack in this game? Seriously? Yes. I'm so sad. I don't know. Maybe. So now, welcome to the rooftops. Rooftops, baby, rooftops tonight. It's a rooftops, baby. There's a robot hanging on a ladder, except it's just his hand. Jeez, what happened there? Uh, he got eaten by Zerks. My gosh, I guess maybe that's what happened, yes. All right. Oh. Oh, so speaking much. of Zerks. Hmm. I don't want to do that. Hmm. All right, let's go put the transceiver all the way to the top of that big building. We could do that, sure. That's, or we could just continue living down here in the slums as a cat. As a, as a cat, we have no ambition to leave. Oh, God. They're uh, actually chasing us. Uh, if you come to this bean. Nope, still chasing us on the bean. We gotta get out of here. All right, well. <laughs> I'm too smart for you, him. You juked him, all right. You really did. Are, you, are, you, are they still following you? Ah, you lost them. I lost most. Of, a lot of them jumped to their death. <laughs> You've killed the Zerks. Nice. Yeah. Lure them over here. <laughs> Come here. Come here, you stupid Zerks. Come here and die. That, some of them got on you. Most of them are dying, though. That's pretty fun. Let's kill these Zerks. 
Come on. Come on. You guys know you want to die. Oh, that one exploded. <laughs> We're just bursting in excitement. This is the police. I know you're in there and I know you're on drugs. Ow! <laughs> assault! Assault! Cat officer down! Zach, mm -hmm. you know how a cat romances a female cat? Uh, no, I don't. They whisk her off her feet! Uh... <laughs> and also, it has a barbed penis. Yeah, we don't need to talk <laughs> about that part. I, was, I thought you were going to say they romance them. Ah! Uh... Memory unlocked. Uh, it seems like we missed a previous memory or two. Yeah, we missed one somewhere. Mm. This is the kind of game that I definitely can see myself 100%ing. Yeah, you, I, I I believe that, yeah. You, would you try and 100% on your first run? Like, you wouldn't go to the next section? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, or would you, try and, would you try and beat it, like, without even trying to 100% the first time, and then you'd go back and try it a second time? Whee! Maybe. See, I'm smart. Did Maybe you see how I figured that one out? Did you see how I figured out that puzzle? Yeah, that, wasn't a, that wasn't a yes or no question. Uh, what were you, sorry, what? I, I was saying, would you try and beat this 100% of your first try? Uh, or would you just kind of roll with the flow? I probably would just go with the flow for the first one, and then later play it through, just try to 100%. Okay. Give it some replay value, eh? Yeah. Oh, I was kind of hoping that I could get over there. No cameras or cats allowed. There's got to be a way over there, though, right? I have no idea. Right? Maybe. There has to be. Maybe if you had opposable thumbs. 